Suspense. you'll know about it. There'll be a lock on the door. Does anybody see a lock on the door? Huh? You're late, Webb. You're early, Sam. What's the matter? Somebody dead? You're a good-looking sight. A beauty. Is this the way you come in every morning, Webb? Stew to the ears? Yeah, that's right. Each and every morning. Good. That's a consolation. Well, from here on in, you can get drunk on somebody else's money. What's the matter with him? Kelly handed in a notice. She's giving up Sally for. What? Yeah, if she's got any job prospects, keep a good art man in mind, huh? Yeah, sure. You'll come up with something. Nothing worries where a few drinks can cure. Sam. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Of course, I had no right to blow all that steam in your face. Here, Webb, take a gander at this. This doesn't make sense. You read what the man said. Kelly has got a new idea for a strip. She's tired of Sally Ford. It only made her a reputation and a few millions to boot, and she's tired of it. Tired of it! Did you ever hear of anyone who gets tired of a million bucks a year? Well, she's playing a game, Sam. She just wants to see you on your knees, that's all. She wants all of us on our knees. I'll tell you something, Webb. Every cent I own in the world is tied up in that doll out there. If she wants me to crawl, I'll crawl. The queen of the comics came to deliver the kiss of death. I took a haircut, Kelly. I want to look nice and clean for the execution. Good morning, boss. Webb. Kelly. Come on in, Kelly. I'd like to talk to you. Sam, what I have to say, I'd like to say to the whole staff. I think that's only fair. You're the boss, Kelly. I'm not the boss at all, Sam. I do one of the comic books you publish. I'm just another cartoonist. Right, Ann? We're dead without Sally Forth. You know that, Sally. Oh, be fair. Do you want to tie me up for life? How much do you want for the strip? You're charging money, Sam. That doesn't interest me. Don't complicate the issue. I'm retiring, Sally Forth. I'm tired of writing it. Sell it to me. I'll find somebody else to write it. Mm, I couldn't do that, Sam. Sally's mine. I couldn't dream of somebody else writing it. Give us a fighting chance, all of us. Stay with us six months. Three. Maybe we'll come up with another idea to replace Sally. I can't do it, Sam. I've carried you on my back for a long time. I'm tired. You didn't do so bad. You're talking money again, Sam. I told you that doesn't interest me. Well, what does? Name it. Kelly Davis. I was about to say that I recognize the possibility that some of you may be out of jobs very soon. I was about to say that for old time's sake, I may be able to work some of you into a new book I'm starting. Apparently, nobody is interested. Anything that might interest me, Kelly? As a matter of fact, I wanted to talk to you, Webb. Yes, I think you might be quite interested. Call me, Webb. I'll be in all evening. Sam, when you close... 
slows down. Might I have this Sally Forth doll? For old time's sake. minute it starts coming out of your ears. That's fine. I can rub myself out as a pump. Hi. Hello, Johnny. Oh, hi. Hi, Annie. Sit down. Huh? Five o'clock went. I'm taking me to the theater tonight. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You bought tickets last week and Johnny's lending you his car for this evening. I gotta see Kelly tonight on business. Look, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll wind it up in a hurry and then I'll meet you at my place, okay? Webb, don't get mixed up with her. That advice comes a little late. What do you mean? Webb? Ah, oh, Stratford, you might set on him more. Oh, we're just leaving, Boris. Oh, stay a moment. I've heard all your stories, Boris. Now, if you don't oh, mind, just... I'm a good sport. Let's find a topic that should stimulate all of us. Try this for time. It's strange that a cartoon as full of good humor and social consciousness as Sally Forth be written by a humorless, sadistic witch like Kelly Davis. What do you say to that, Webb? You got anything on your mind, Boris? Spill it. You are no longer my boss, Mr. Wilson. I won't be talked to in that tone of voice. The cock is the weak, Boris. Punch it up, Boris. The one of the storyline, Boris. And Holmes made you his editor. Pathological drunk. In my mind, you're no more than a pathological drunk. No, just come on, come on, break it up, Webb. Come on, Webb, let's go, please. That's right, Penny. Take Mr. Wilson in hand. Tuck him in bed. Watch him. Shut up, boy. I know your secret, Webb. I made it my business to know everybody's little secret. When you killed your lieutenant in Okinawa, were you drunk that night? Please, 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 please. 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 Missy, you take it with soda? I said nothing for me. I thought you were kidding. Sorry, Webb, bum joke. Forget it. You were telling me about your new comic strip. It's, that's a wonderful idea, Kelly. It's great. Don't be ironic. What if it is your idea? I sold the idea. If they bought anything, they bought me. Kelly did. I could sue you, Kelly. Oh. You told me that the idea was strictly in your head. You didn't have a word on paper. Be smart, Webb. The idea is already sold. I'm offering you a job. You can write the script. And for more money than you ever dreamed of with Sam. You're a cute girl, Kelly. Here's to you, girl. I'm not cheap, Webb. You'll be very well paid, much better than you expect. Hello? Um, excuse me, Wes? Sure, go right ahead. I'll make myself at home. No, don't be an idiot, really, now. Oh, so there's something in the file. Well, I have a file, too, dear boy. And when you think of file, Think of jail. Taxes, dear boy. I don't think you paid them. Now, where were we? Was somebody else you're chiseling? 
I'm really not interested in what you think of my ethics. Just do you work for me or no? Work for you? We were talking about an idea you stole from me. Prove that. Is this your routine, Kelly? Did you steal Sally Forth, too? Get out! Is that it, Kelly? Huh? Who's bringing the news for that one? Get Who was it? Get out. I want to talk. Who was it, Kelly? Get out Who of here, you crazy drunk! Richard Kiley and Neva Patterson. Did I ever tell you about Lieutenant Rogers, no, Annie? Please, Red, not now. I shot him in the back. You didn't. You know the facts. The army knew the facts. They didn't even try you. You were trying to stop him. He panicked and run into enemy fire. You were trying to save him and your platoon. Webb. Darling, you've got to think hard every step since you left that bar. You've got to tell me what happened. I can't remember. You went to Kelly's apartment. Webb, you went to Kelly's apartment. Yes, I went to Kelly's apartment. And, yeah, we, we argued about, and I, I remember she started, she started yelling something. And I wanted to shut her up. I wanted to, to stop the sound of her voice, so I, I grabbed her. Out. Hard, Webb. Think hard. You were with her. Was she meeting anyone? Expecting anyone? Were there any phone calls? Yeah. Yeah, there was a phone call. I remember. I remember thinking something about Boris. 
remember thinking that Boris was right in what he said. That whoever Kelly was talking to on the phone had been used by her to write Sally forth. Just as she was trying to use me. What else, darling? And then, then she, uh, she, she said something about a, about a prison. And, uh, and, and filing your way into prison. File. Does Kelly have a file in her office? Yeah, behind Johnny's desk in the art department. Well, that's Johnny's file, isn't well, it? I think Kelly used it, too. Oh, the craziness makes sense. Our only lead, you've got to start somewhere. I guess you're right. This place will be swarming with police by tomorrow. Go on, Webb. Look, Annie. Here's something for me. Yes, darling, anything. Get Johnny on the phone. Tell him to park his car out in front of the office. Yes. Foolish, Webb, you can't run. I don't intend to. Not now. But if there's nothing in that file, I don't know how I'll be feeling. Look at him. When it stops ringing, call Johnny. Tell him I need that car. I need it bad. Annie, in case I don't get the chance to say it, well, it's sometimes it's, it's looked like I don't appreciate you. It's not the way it looked. Said you were in trouble. You went to the car. Oh. Well, there's nothing in there, Webb. How do you know? It's my file. I looked. But I said there was nothing in there, Webb. Hey, look, how about a quick drink, huh? You know, you got to get out of here. The car's downstairs. Let's have the key to that file, Johnny. There's something in there you didn't want anybody to see, Johnny? Something about Sally Forth? Was she your idea, Johnny? Did Kelly steal it from you and then pay you to write it? It works, Webb. It works just fine. I'm no good to you, dead Johnny. You ever think of that? Think of everything, Webb. Really, I do. I hadn't figured it quite this way, but... There you were in Kelly's apartment, passed out. Who else depended on? Who else? Funny how fast your mind can work. Sit down, Webb. Sit down. I want you to write something for me. Now look, you don't think I'm going to write my own obituary for I you? I think so, Webb. I think you should. I don't want to kill you, Webb, but it's the only way now. Not right. Early this evening, I, Webb Wilson, shot Kelly Davis. You must know that I killed once before. For five years, this has been preying on my conscience. It's uncomfortable. Shut up! That thing goes off before I finish. Don't kid yourself, Webb. It's a closed case. Suicide note, psycho drunk. It'd go fine even without your signature. Then do it now, Johnny. I'm tired of writing. Don't get up, Webb. Get out of my way, do you? Get out of my way! 
Johnny and her. What about the twenty thousand she's been paying you? You forgot to mention that little item in your income tax. Kelly had it all laid out, nice and neat, in her safe. Just like you, Kelly. Haven't you had enough? Haven't you had enough? Say where we can get in touch with you. Fuzzy, what happened anyway? Well, I called Johnny. I told him what had happened. You know, he acted funny, so calm, so ready to accept you as a murderer. I, well, I decided to call the police. I was sure of you, Webb. I know. Come on, let's let's go get some breakfast, huh? We never really knew her, did we? Sweet little Sally Ford. She killed them both. Almost killed you. Anthony Ross, Robert Keith Jr., and Paul Langton. A story well calculated to keep you in suspense. Fun, Burns and Allen on the CBS Television Network.